Si te digo, baby, no pares Es porque lo tienes on fire Mira que te mueves al laje No dejas que nadie te pare Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Castro back at you with Plugin Boutique and I've got a great brand new VST reverb to show you today. It's called Swart Reverb. It's from the good people at Sonable and it's a really unique and great sounding reverb. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what it has to offer and play you some examples of what it can do on some guitar, vocals, and then some percussion. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Smart Reverb on the screen. And what it does is automatically creates a reverb profile depending on an incoming audio signal. There are no presets because it makes a custom preset for any audio signal being fed into it. So what I'm gonna do is jump into this project and just delete the instances of Smart Reverb. Before I do that though, let's just get a taste of what it sounds like with the Smart Reverb enabled. All right, there we go. We've actually got three instances of Smart Reverb in this project, and we're just gonna go ahead and delete those. And now let's listen to what we have just by deleting the Smart Reverb. So it really transformed this particular piece of music. So let's start with the vocals. I'm gonna go ahead and solo it and just drop Smart Reverb onto that channel. And the GUI is resizable, love that. And it looks really, really cool. It's got a really cool visual aesthetic up here where it kind of visualizes or shows you visually about what's happening to your reverb. And it's interactive and will change and update depending on the parameters you choose or tweak. Over here is where you'll choose your profile and it depends on what the audio is. So I'm on vocals and I'm gonna choose vocals. If what you're processing or what you're trying to get a reverb profile for isn't in the list, just choose universal. Right out of the gate, it's already gonna add some reverb to it. Okay, and that's the 1.5 and you saw down here, these things kind of moved around, but what we wanna do is actually have Smart Reverb listen to it and create a new profile for the particular vocal that we're using. I'm gonna play the audio, hit this button, which is the capture button, and let it do its thing, and it does it very quickly. And you should have heard that the reverb profile changed. The reverb sounded different. The reverb time didn't change at all, but the actual profile and these different parameters that we have here, decay, speed, and density, changed how the reverb sounded. And that's what Smart Reverb is all about. So that being said, let's talk about what we have at our disposal. First thing, below here we have a kind of XY grid where we can kind of switch between a natural or artificial sounding reverb and an intimate or a rich sounding reverb. So let's do that. But before we do it, let's actually turn up the decay time. And you'll see as I increase that, these lines are increasing and so are the kind of bubbles or circles down there to kind of indicate to you visually that there's more happening. Si te digo, baby, no pares, es porque lo tienes on fire. Mira que te mueves al laje, no dejas que nadie te pare. Ellos hablan como si supieran, pero sé que eres bien guerrera. Tú llevas de todo en tu cartera, pero que la vida vale por cualquiera. Cool. So you may have noticed beyond the sonic differences of the different profiles there that we have at our disposal in the XY pad that these were updating while I was moving it. You can see that happening. The profile is being warped by these three different parameters, the decay, the spread, and the density. So let's talk about decay. If you look up here at the top, we have our time. And this will update, you know, if I go up to three seconds, 3.2, or 3.02, it will update over here. So now we can see this, and now we have control over the frequency range decay for these three different frequency ranges. So if maybe I want my brighter signal to, have, to really be boosted, something like this, and my lower frequencies to decay much quicker. Let's see what that sounds like. Si te digo, baby, no pares. And it does, you can hear that it's a higher frequency pitched reverb and you can actually see it in here where the bubbles are the green bubbles that's where the main focus of the frequency is si te digo, baby, no pares. 
Now that we've done this, we're outside of the smart, quote unquote, smart reverb profile. And if we want to go back at any time, all we need to do is then click this and we'll jump back to the original starting position. So that's decay. Spread is about the stereo spread and you have a frequency cutoff position over here. So, you know, if we only want to start around 200 and then we wanted to slowly increase over time, we just have to make those changes like that. Okay, and then we have density, which again, we can control over time by using the three, I, I forgot, thumbs, I believe they call them in the manual, and we can make any changes over there with that. Okay, the reason why you're only seeing the, the kind of reverb floaty balls here, I don't know what to call them. The reason why you're seeing those light up only up here in this frequency range is because that's where the vocal sits. You know, there's no bass information in that vocal and that's why that's not updating. So it really is showing you where the reverb is, both in time and in um, amount or abundance and in frequency range. I think that's really cool. So I also wanna just point out real quick, you can use the thumbs to move individual points or if you click on the line, you can move both of the points at the same time. You also have a filter down here at the bottom where you can have, you can turn on or off the different filters and choose the different filter types over here as well. There is also a freeze and infinite reverb capability down here at the bottom if you wanna get into some interesting sound design options. So that's the vocal, okay? Let me go ahead and turn it down and turn it back on the suggested parameters. And let's jump into the guitar. Again, make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna solo that channel. Let's come in here, choose guitar. Okay, so I'm liking that one. And let's jump in here to the percussion. And again, we can come in here and choose drums or we can just leave it on universal, which, whichever is best. These are, it's percussion, pretty much drums. It's got a snare in there. So I'm just gonna leave it on drums and let's go ahead and run the profile. Cool. So I'm feeling those. Let's listen to everything together now. And it's completely transformed that kind of dry track into something that sounds amazing, or at least a lot better than it did before. And all we had to do is run the smart reverb on three different tracks to do it. In conclusion, this is a really, really unique and great plugin for people looking to get great reverb very quickly and easily. And the flexibility it allows for you after you have a profile built to really sculpt it and make it your own. It lends itself to producers who are looking for a more hands-on approach as well. It's all about what it sounds like in the end. And I've been super impressed with how it sounds on everything I've put it on from drums to vocals to guitar and so on. Smart Reverb from Sonobol is available now on PluginBoutique.com. So click that link in the video description. I'm I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Nobody,